Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski, along with Ray Ferraro. We are so looking forward to the action on this one tonight. Ray, listen to the energy in the arena here tonight. They know it's critical. The players know it's critical. What's the message here? Oh, there's really nothing that can't be said that isn't so obvious. Hey, series is tied. We got a chance to take the lead. Play our best game. Be as aggressive as you can. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. The Moose have possession along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Handles the puck. Too much traffic in the lane. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Battle along the boards. Grabs the puck in the corner. Here's a pass down low. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here he is with the backhander. Denies him in front. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. San Jose's on the attack. Slides the puck over. Stanley's got it in the defensive end. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. His reflexes on display tonight. Puck grabbed by Carrick. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Here he is in front. Scores! And they get on the board quickly here in this one. When we were talking to the coach this morning, he said on the road, his team has a tendency to slumber their way into games. Not today. Really nice play. Quick pass on the tape and into the net. So quickly the goalie can't get closed up and make the save. San Jose's look like the more aggressive team and for good reason now with the lead. Now they've got that lead, they can play with the pace that they want to. They can really control how this game is played. Solid hit on the play and that knocks the puck off his stick. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Nice poke check. San Jose's gonna play it from the corner. Gives them nothing in front. And another stop. Great stick work as he pokes it away. And the official stops the play as somebody's off to the sin bin. And it looks like two minutes in the box for holding will be the call here. Well, he's got a mitt full of the guy's sweater. It's tough to argue That's that one. Say. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. Uh, the power play guys are hungry and over the boards quickly. This is their first power play tonight. Of course, it starts with a face-off in the offensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Takes the pass. Takes control of the puck. To the low slot. Big save in front. I had a playoff run like this. When you score in the playoffs, you feel like you can score every night. San Jose's offense is off to a good start here in the early goings. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And he takes a shot, and he comes up with it. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 1-0 the score. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. They move the puck out of harm's way. San Jose's got it behind the net. Through center. And the man advantage fails to pay off as both teams are back at even strength. Always frustrating for the power play when they go back to the bench and don't have anything to show for it. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. Manitoba's got a hold of it against the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Skates across the blue line. 
And he regains control of the puck. Can't connect. Takes the feed. They've got the defense outnumbered. And that one's broken up. Great block there. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. San Jose's still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. Manitoba's got a hold of the puck. Bork stick handling in his own zone. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Through center along the wing. That's sent in deep and the forwards will change. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Great defensive stick work on the play. Receives the pass. Solid check to slow him down. Manitoba's gained possession along the boards. San Jose's got control of it now from their own end. Break away! Scores! Whoa! Wow, this is a great reaction, James. He doesn't have much time to finish it off. Makes a perfect shot. Once you escape the pack, it's now one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. He's trying to read you, you're trying to read him. The shooter wins this time. More than half the period left to play. San Jose's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Taken by Green. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Centering pass! And he can't find his man. Great feed from the left side. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. Now over to Dano. Manitoba's got the puck along the wall. Pokes it away in his own end. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Most dangerous place on the ice, and he can't capitalize. From the point, looks to make something happen. That opportunity is rejected. Manitoba's in transition. Takes the feed at center. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. San Jose's across the blue line. Here's a chance right out in front. Can't connect. Posts it away to keep the pressure on. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. San Jose's looking to break out of their own end. Here they come up along the wing. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. He was locked in there. Up, he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. Past the midway mark of the frame. James and Ray with you tonight. San Jose's got a 2-0 lead. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Oh, couldn't finish the job. What an excellent opportunity, Ray. They worked their way into good shape. He's just not able to beat the goalie. Throws it in. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. With some open space at center. With possession along the wall. And now it's grabbed by Bork. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. San Jose's capitalized on their offensive abilities here in this first period. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Nice pass. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Manitoba's playing it from the side. And he's ridden off the puck. Picking up some steam at center ice. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Set it out in front with the stop. And that's picked off. The setters will glide into the dot. San Jose's won the faceoff and makes the save. 
Slides the puck down low. Takes the feed. Couldn't complete the play. Manitoba's got the puck in the defensive end. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Right out front. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Nears the blue line and looks to set up at the point. Manitoba's playing it through the neutral zone. San Jose's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Gains the zone through the middle. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. The Moose have taken possession in their own end. Now he takes it over the line. Pumps the puck away. Manitoba's got it in their own zone. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Stays with it. He scores! On the rebound, lights the line for the goal. The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. San Jose's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Sends a pass over. Nice zone entry from the middle. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Steps inside the line. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Manitoba's looking to break out. They fight for it along the boards. Quick shot. Comes up with the stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. And that's blocked. Manitoba's got a hold of the puck. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. San Jose's got the puck. Here they come. Sends the pass over. Goalie with a stop. Quick glove hand here. He gets the glove out to make the stop. I loved making that save in road hockey. The old blocker stop. Just here in the late stages of this frame... Manitoba's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Moves it quickly over to Dano. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. One minute left in the first period. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. Too many bodies in the way. Loose puck battle along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Bork. He carries the puck up along the wing. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. San Jose's moving it up the ice. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Taken by Green. Moves the puck. Well, that'll do it for period number one. Opportunities at both ends of the ice create a little bit of offense. Fun start here. It's time to support those around us with a monthly food drop. Bring three non-perishable food items, and you can receive a free team poster. Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action. And we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Handles the puck. Here he is, wrists it on net. Stones him in front. We're still in the early stages of this period. It's a 2-1 hockey game. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. 
Hooking the call and maybe a little sell job along the way? A little bit, but the player's got to move his feet. As soon as you stop, if it's even close, you're going to get down. San Jose's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. The best power plays are really varied, James. You don't just shoot it low. You don't shoot it high. You move it around. They got a big shot at the point. I think they got to get there once in a while. Big time stop. Gets a blocker on it. Quick pass over to Carrick. Denies him. He got all of it. Manitoba's got a chance to work the transition game now shorthanded. Whiffs on that. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. There's the whistle as the puck sails onto the bench. That stop it came just at the right time for them. They look like they're starting to slow down, not being able to keep up to the offensive team. San Jose's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking at all cylinders thus far. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Too much congestion in front. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Takes it across the blue line. Takes a wrist shot. Big time stop. Pins him against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Referee shot. Scores! Well, they were going to get a power play. You don't get one now. That goal will nullify the penalty. No way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one-timed into the net. San Jose's got an insurance marker here. They now lead by two in the second. Don't back off, though. Keep pushing ahead. Play the game in the offensive half of the ice. And he can't hang on after that hit. Wow. Score! 20 seconds apart, that's a pair of goals. Wow, insane how quick that was. Bang, bang. Yeah, the defending team just couldn't put a stake in the ground. They couldn't stop them. Bang, bang, play. The goalie's got no chance. When you're in that close and you get the chance to one-time it, you're likely going to score unless you hit the goalie. San Jose's been dominant tonight as they make their way back to center. They have scored almost at will, in particular here in this second period. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck. You get your stick in the wrong spot. He steps on your stick and there's nothing you can do. They'll go back to work on their special teams. When you've already scored on the power play and you get one now, you can't wait to get over the boards to get started again. That's using the body on the block. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. All smart heads up play to poke that one away. A chance in front. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. San Jose's been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score. And they have dominated in the shot clock, too. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone. So this is a good play. San Jose's been the more aggressive team offensively, and they continue to lead here in the second. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. They get it out of the defensive end. San Jose's got the puck behind the net. Headman pass. That's how you break the puck out. Strong defensive effort. Slides the puck over. And that one's blocked! Couldn't find the intended target. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And a successful clearing attempt. 
Well, the power play melts away. They don't get anything on it. I don't think it's particularly important because they've got such a nice lead here. They just want to run the clock out. And he says no! Wow. Scores! All over the rebound, and he puts it in! Get to the net. That's where the goals are. The rebound sits there, and he puts it away. Manitoba's going to make a change in goal. He can't get over to the bench quick enough. Now he can get rid of that mask, throw in a ball hat, wrap a towel around his neck, and try and relax. This has been a rotten night for him. San Jose is quickly filling up the highlight reel shows for later this evening, Ray. They are, even though it's in the second period still, they have scored almost at will tonight. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. There's the whistle penalty coming up. I know he doesn't like the call on this one. Nobody does, but I think he has a case here, Ray. Well, it looked like the penalty was going to be called, and then it got sold even more so. So that's a hooking call that he doesn't really like. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. Oh, this power play's been outstanding. What a terrific percentage they've run at tonight. They've been confident, they've moved the puck crisply, and they've been really successful. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. Takes the feed from his own end. Excellent stick work on the play. Puck clears the zone. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Man, they're back in their own zone again on the power play. They've got to be a little more urgent getting the puck up the ice and into the zone. They don't even have a shot on net on this power play. Takes the pass. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Sharp reaction save. Here's a shot, and that's broken up. And now he moves it quickly to Carrick. Off his stick, off the crossbar. My goodness, what a shot. San Jose's lead is so solid, that one's not going to matter much, I don't think. I know if I was shooting it, though, James, I would have wanted it to go in. Puts it on that and puts it just wide. The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Blocked in front. Moves up near the blue line and looks to set up at the point. Couldn't connect on that pass. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Comes up with the stop. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Referee's got his hand extended. He caught that trip right in front of him. Hangs onto the puck. Takes the feed. Manitoba's got it into the offensive zone. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Quick feed down low. That pass goes a little sideways. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess. But you already know at this point you're going to sit down. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. Key for any team on the power play is to get control of the puck first. So we'll look at the face-off, and this power play at the very least has to generate a little momentum. It's their first crack at it tonight. The Moose have taken possession along the wall. And they move the puck out of harm's way. He got all of that hit. Manitoba's got the puck in their own end. Receives the pass. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Nice feed from the right wing. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a chance on the doorstep, and they can't connect. And they manage to clear it. The Moose have gained possession off the wall. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Comes up with the stop. Penalty expires. You really have to admire the effort of the penalty-killing unit on that one as both teams are back to even strength. Well, the only thing that happened on that power play was the clock rolled along. Very few chances, not much danger. San Jose's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, 
And they lead here in the second. Nothing doing. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. The Moose have possession along the boards. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Bork's got the puck in his own zone. San Jose is ready to go on the attack with the steal. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. There's the whistle and the official set to give the call. The Moose have been penalized. They'll serve two in the box. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. San Jose's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. I'm not so sure what they looked at in the penalty-killing meeting, but the only thing they've done really well tonight is dig the puck out of the net as his power play gets another chance. They've been so good tonight. Trying to clear the zone. Chance to breathe for the penalty killers as they clear the puck. Oh, solid play. It doesn't have to be the most attractive play, but that puck has to go out. They clear the zone. Passed up ahead. Find some space in the corner. Fantastic save! Here's a chance to get it out. And they do just that. Oh, I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Scrum ensues along the boards. I don't believe the coaches are going to be too worried about this. They didn't score on the power play, but I think it's most important that they didn't give anything up. They've got such a nice lead. The coaches are more focused on making sure this game plays out comfortably. From behind his own net. Up along the wing. Grabs control of it at the point. And there's the save. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Puck scooped up by Green. And now he tries to get it across to Gustafson. Harkins has it in the defensive end. Manitoba's got it along the wall. Takes a shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. San Jose's got the puck in the defensive end. Manitoba's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick pass to Gustafson. Oh, and he misses an opportunity there. Looking to be too perfect. Get it on the net. You've got a better chance to squeak one. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. You got a minor penalty coming up For here sure, on this one. For sure, James. I mean, this call was going to be made. You could see the play develop, and now they're going to have to serve two minutes. Another scoring opportunity looms here. When you don't get many power plays, you really have to make them count. One goal could be a big difference maker. And that pass goes awry. Cut clear from the defensive end. Manitoba's got it behind the net. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. San Jose's got the puck shorthanded. On the heels of their blades, trying to get it out. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Manages to hang on with the stop. San Jose's got to be happy with where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the second. Gustafson's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. And he denied that opportunity. San Jose's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. There's the horn ending period number two. Might almost be a mercy rule in some ways. Hey fans, great tickets are still available to our next home game. Please visit the box office and get them while they last.
And we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Manitoba's man advantage won't have a lot of time to work with as play resumes here at the start of this period. Played big in the moment there. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Manitoba's got a hold of it against the wall. Here they come on the attack. Manitoba's got the puck in the corner. Gets in front of it. Moves with the puck at the corner. Fires it on net. Four out. And the puck gets out of here in a hurry, stopping the play. Everybody's looking around. We heard it hit the pipe, but off it goes up out of play. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. San Jose's offense has been a thing to watch tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. Nice pass. Here they are on the attack. Sends it over. Takes a shot. Blocked in traffic. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. It looks like a trip. And let's see what the call is. Stanley's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Always a little careless to get a tripping penalty. You get your stick into the player's feet. And when he goes down, you're going to go to the box. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. They've already scored on the power play tonight. They'll get another chance here. James, I don't think they have to change anything with the way they go about it. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. Takes the feed from the wing. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. He scores! They quickly take advantage of a team that fell back on their heels. It's like they lost their energy for a moment knowing they were going to be penalized. And it proved costly. Well, that's a quick one-timer right in front of the net. The pass is there. He's got no time to do anything with it. And he beats the goalie. San Jose's all smiles on the bench next to you, aren't they? Yeah, they're having lots of fun. Not so much on the other side where this night has been a nightmare. Puck picked up in the open ice. Takes the feed. Chaps the puck away. Maintains possession. Stopped by the goaltender. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. He's really enjoying the spotlight of being one of the league leaders in goals. You take more responsibility, you have to produce, and he seems to embrace it all. San Jose's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Keeps hold of the puck. Here's a shot, and that's another power play marker. Oh, the power play coach is going to be pumped here. They had done some extra work on the power play over the last 10 days or so really paying off tonight. The good thing he one-times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. San Jose's only continue to extend the lead here in the third. They haven't missed many chances. They've scored at will, and now we're coasting home. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. San Jose's moving it into the offensive end. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Manitoba's moving it along the wing. Loose puck battle along the boards. The Moose have taken possession along the wall. And they fail to go take to take. Sends a pass over. Loses his balance on the play. From the right side, they gain the zone. 
stopped by the goaltender. Manitoba's got it in their own zone. On the attack along the boards. And he regains control of the puck. Made the stop on the play. San Jose is showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. And sneaks in and grabs possession. Moussa to Dano. Puts one on net. Denied by the goaltender. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. The Moose have been called for tripping on the play. As soon as the hands go up when they start to plead with the ref, you know they know they're guilty. Another chance here on the man advantage. Their coaches that run the power play couldn't be much more pleased than the way the power plays work tonight. James, this has been outstanding as they've been successful time and time again. Another stop by the goaltender. Puck slid down the ice. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. Through center along the wing. San Jose's grabbed a hold of the puck. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. There's the whistle. Here's the call from the officials. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. This is a time, James, you get your skilled guys into the game more frequently. Four-on-four four is open ice. It's danger if you have skill. And the team with the most skill is probably going to be the best. Slides the puck to Carrick. Takes him from the right side. Makes a move in front. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Centering pass. Quick shot. And that one's stopped. San Jose's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Offense's own faceoff, and he wins the draw. Came up with the save on that play. San Jose's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Well, the endless slew of penalties that have been handed out continues here as yet another one is being dished out. And he's going to get two for hooking on the play, Ray. He should. I mean, he gets his stick out parallel to the ice. He gets it across the player's midsection, and that's kind of a red flag for that penalty. Another chance here on the man advantage. Coaches love predictability, and the one thing that this power play has been tonight is unpredictable. You don't know what's happening from one minute to the next. It's just been an average night for them. Good defensive effort to poke it away. San Jose's got the puck along the boards, and they'll get it out of the defensive end. The Moose have taken control of the puck. They go on the attack through center. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Let's get the call here. Pretty cut and dry trip on that play. Coaches will tell you, be careful with your stick, but you're trying to get the puck. I yeah. don't think a lot of times they do it intentionally. And with the call, it's a huge opportunity for the power play, a five on three. I always want to see the five on three a little more aggressive, James, than it usually is. I think the puck has to be moved quickly for an early shot. Where are the penalty killers down? Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. He scores! That give them some hope? Maybe, kind of, sort of? They've really given up a ton of goals tonight. Power play cashes in. 
They move the puck around and get the puck right into the middle of the slot. He makes no mistake from there. Manitoba's got to be thinking more and more offense here now in the third. No reason to sit back. You're in a hole here. You need goals and you need lots of them. Attack. Manitoba sends the pass over. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Big play inside the defensive zone. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Takes a shot. It's in the back of the net. He scores! Now you just stop thinking about the first goal. Now you got another. That's 30 seconds apart. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. Oh, he's all over it there, James, and he puts it in on the backhand. Manitoba's back at center ice. They have a long way to go still here, though, Ray. Yeah, get your scores out there, James. Don't worry about the defensive end of the ice. You need goals. Puck is dropped. Play resumes. Manitoba's ready to go on the attack. Oh, he'd like a mulligan on that miss. Yo, oh, you got to get it on net, James. Yeah, the mulligan would be great because you don't even test the goalie here. You never had that happen, right? Many, many times. Puck battle along the boards. Nice poke check. The Moose have gained control of the puck along the wall. Takes the pass. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Moving into the attacking zone. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Nice save from point blank range. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Just wide. Now tough to generate a rebound even when the puck misses the net by that much. Denied that one. Now we'll get another look at this. That's a good shot, but the goalies get the blocker up to make the save. San Jose's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Moves the puck. And that one's turned away. Handles the puck. Manitoba's on the attack. Here's an offensive chance. Pokes it away in his own end. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Takes the feed. Gains the zone from the right. Manitoba's looking to break out of their own end. Great poise here as he gets it back. Wrist shot from the slot. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Takes a shot. Oh, gets a piece of it with the glove. And he slides it quickly to Green. Great reflexes. Another save. Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. Tripping is the call, and it's pretty cut and dry, it seems, Ray. Well, it's like you, you're in position, then you're not. You reach out, you trip them up, and there's no way to get out of it now. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. Well, they've earned another power play, James. Of course, that starts with an offensive zone face-off. They've had success earlier in the game. They'll want to double up on that now if they can. 14 minutes, 50 seconds. Right out in front. He scores! A little happy birthday to me in this one. Oh, yeah, everybody loves their own birthday. You get a little cake, and if he doesn't have cake, that will serve as it. He got clear in the low slot, found where the opening was, and takes that pass to one time it past the goalie. The Moose have to be asking themselves, are there more goals to follow for them now? They might also be asking themselves, where was that earlier? They've got a big yeah. hole to climb out of. No question. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Scrum along the boards. 
Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. San Jose is going to hold him it against the wall. Along the half wall with the puck. Here he is, shot right in front. And he gets a paddle on that one. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. San Jose is showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Manitoba's got a hold of the puck. Now a quick pass to Stanley. Manitoba's looking to break out. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Takes the feed at the point. That's off a stick. The Moose have the puck against the boards. They go on the attack from the left side. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Stays with it. San Jose's got it along the wall. Smart heads up play to intercept the pass. San Jose's got the puck now. Can't keep a hold of it and makes the save. San Jose's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Manitoba's won the faceoff. And they can't convert to the play! And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Puts it to the front of the net! Off the outside of the iron and will play on! San Jose's just peppered this goaltender all night long. Maybe finally a break for him as that shot hits the post and stays out. Slides the puck over. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. There's the whistle. Penalty coming up. Stanley's going off for hooking. It doesn't take very long to get on the wrong side of the play. You're a step behind. You've got to slow that guy down. You can't catch him. Maybe you can get away with a hook. Not here. Just tried to play catch up and got burned. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Both teams have done really well on their power play opportunities tonight. I like the way both have kind of mirrored each other. Face-off wins, good entries, lots of pucks at the net. And manages to clear the zone. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. Carries it in. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Manitoba's got it against the boards. Hangs on to the puck. Let's it go, and a great save! He takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Inside of the final minute here in the third. Receives the pass. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. It's a two-on-one. Here's the pass. On the doorstep. Oh, what a save in front. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. Denies him again. Nice work in there after the first stop. He's got to find the puck to save the second. 27 seconds on the clock. Manitoba's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Gets it out of his own end. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Manages to hang on. Manitoba's got control of the puck. Whistle blown as a few players go ducking for cover on the bench. I want to go back to that chance we had just a moment ago. The goalie reads the play well, makes a great save on a really good scoring chance. San Jose's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time, up big time late in this third. They're able to wind the clock down a little bit here. They don't score on that power play. I don't know that it's particularly important. They don't want to give up anything because they've got such a large lead. They want to run this in on cruise control. There it is, final horn sounds. We are all over here with this one. A deadlock no longer here as they've taken a 2-1 series lead now. The pressure grows exponentially game by game in a series. I thought they responded better than their opponents and are full marks for their 2-1 series lead. Great playoff action tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We'll talk to you next time where the fun will continue.